Here is this glow-in-the-dark crystal lab. I got it for Christmas. It's a, it's February, so I've had it for two months. And I've been waiting to open it, so here I go. So on this book it just tells you about crystals and the first question is what is a crystal? A defini by definition a crystal is a solid structure formed when atoms or molecules line up in a regular three dimensional pattern. The salt on your dinner table, the snow on the ground, the diamond in a wedding ring are all crystals. That's pretty cool. Uses for crystals. This is probably one of these. Yeah, this is just tells you about crystals. This is the inception, right? So that just tells you about the crystals. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is heat one cup of water until boiling and select a clean, clear, heat proof container. A pint glass is ideal to use as a crystal growing chamber. So I'm going to go boil some water. So we got some water boiling. What's number two say? Um, using the stirring stick, dissolve the crystal growing powder into the water, stirring until no more powder will dissolve in the solution. Five to ten minutes. So stirring stick. Dissolve the crystal growing powder. Crystal seed milk? Oh, that's a seed milk. So that's crystal growing powder. So using the stirring stick, dissolve the crystal growing powder into the water, stirring until no more powder will dissolve in the solution. So when that water is boiling, we'll do that. What's number three? Um, pour the solution into the crystal growing chamber. Okay, so pour the solution. This is the crystal growing chamber right here. Um, the solution to the crystal growing ch chamber, leaving behind any remaining dissolved crystal powder. Undissolved. Undissolved. So that means when you're stirring it, if there's anything left undissolved, you want to make sure that it gets put in here. Yeah. It doesn't all need to be mixed in. So maybe go get like a spoon. Yeah. Well, you stir with that stirring stick and then we'll... Yeah. So what does number four say? Put your experiment in a place where it will not be disturbed and let it cool slowly for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Number five. Add the crystal seed rock flat side down. So this is your crystal seed no, rock? No, no. That's not... This is the crystal oh. seed rock. Let's open that up and see what it looks like. I wonder what that is. I think that's just what it will look like. Mm -hmm. Let's go out and figure it out. Oh, oh cool. That's cool. Show them what it looks like. So it's just like a... You should probably... It smells nasty. Yeah, it does. It Ugh. stinks. I'll put that back in the bag. What does it smell like? Uh, it smells like diaper. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me. No, I was going to say the same thing. Okay, number six. Ugh, it smells like, like grandma's bat, bat, um, pool. Allow the experiment to sit under undisturbed for seven to ten days. You should start to see, crystal, see crystals forming within a day. 
but no longer. But the longer. But the longer you let the experiment sit, the larger your crystals will be. I want to wait and I want to sit this until I get my cast off. And then we'll. S oh, I can hear it boiling. Go get it. Okay. Okay. That's all. Tip leave the crystal growing jar uncovered so that the water will water will evaporate this super hey mom mm -hmm. it says um tip leave the crystal growing jar uncovered so okay, here's that so, Let's go ahead. Just pour it. Here, let me go. Keep your hand away from that pan. Okay, you start stirring. Oh no, baby. Yeah, that's it'll clean that up later. Here. But it'll be smaller. Okay, remember this pan is super, super hot, okay? Don't touch your hand on it. It's starting to smell good. It, it stinks. Nah, it smells pretty good. It smells like the... What are those things called that you all kind of forgot? Okay, the third step is to pour the solution into the crystal growing chamber leaving behind any remaining undissolved crystal powder. It's not done. Yeah, it says it won't totally dissolve everything. That, that should be good. Do you want to go ahead and pour it or do you want me to? You pour it. Okay, now number four says, put your experiment in a place Put your experiment in a place where it will not be disturbed and let it cool slowly for 15 minutes. I might just... No. Oh yeah, it says undisturbed. So, bye. We've already waited 15 minutes, and now we're gonna put in the sea book, which smells like papers. It's gonna be kinda hard to make sure it falls in the right way. Let me just get started dissolving. Yep, flat side up. No, flat side. I need it on its flat side, so. I kind of see it dissolving. Now it says, allow the experiment to sit undisturbed for seven to 10 days. You should start to see crystals forming within a day, but the longer you let the experiment sit, the larger the crystals will be. Okay, so we just barely put everything in just a few minutes ago. And so now we need to wait for seven to ten days. I'm gonna try it and it has a and it has a tip and it says the longer you leave it in, the the bigger the crystals will glow. And so we're gonna so this we're gonna make a new video of the crystal glowing and we'll just show day by day and um just in a few days we'll have a new video so hope you like it bye